Radio, Tech Force 6. Released in Japan September 22nd, 2011, this takes place during the final season of 5Ds and having characters from that season. Once again, not having much new, except new cards, new strats. Look, wait. Why the hell are XZ's cards here? Yes, once again, the new hotness is shown off a little early and it feels odd for sure, but still welcome. The map has increased after each game, growing in size, putting more NPCs in those new locales. What's also changed is the mingling, as in, the last two games Rochambeau was gone, but in exchange for a simple addition, a synchro monster, and fill in the blank. I think it's an okay change, not too bad. Also, something I forgot to mention, the higher the affinity, the harder the mingling minigames become. It's never unmanageable. Finally, to end things off, something that absolutely blew my mind even when making this video in script. These games, to a point, have been voice acted. I found out that as recently as Tag Force 5, in Japanese, it's voice acted, and it's really cool. Voice acting by, I assume, the OG cast in the anime. Which, by the way, means Tag Force 6 is the most anime-feeling game, with 3D models that gesture and move like true duelists. And even these games having access to some anime-exclusive cards. This game definitely shot for the stars and sword of the cosmos. But, it got lost in space, only to find its final descendant had ascended to the pinnacle of its life. It became, in my opinion, a cosmic deed that trumps all other games and we've never got it in North America. SON OF A-